Hey guys, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look in on the lasagna bin. And uh, kind of just going to start undoing the top layers here and see what we've got. Got some fruit flies in here for sure. Got some skins. Got some nice castings sitting here on the top of this noodle here. Got some good castings and some pill bugs. And even a worm. So let's look and see what is going on here. Looks like we've got a lot of leftover skins. Here's a kiwi. Looks like they ate everything out of the middle of this. Oop. Oh, funny. So here we are. I just pulled this out of the kiwi skin. So it looks like uh, they didn't have any avocados to play with, so they got a, a good, you know, place to hide in the kiwi. But it looks like a lot of tomato wrappers and pepper wrappers. Not seeing a lot of real food. Kind of. Let's see if I can move a layer here and see where we are with the lasagna. Kind of all busting up. Green tomato. Looks like we've got some seeds left over from some tomatoes. I don't know if we're going to be able to... Nope. Looks like most of the other lower noodles have all but disintegrated here. All right, well, we'll have to spread this out and give them another good feeding. Once they get eating off the, the cardboard, then sometimes you can get the, the tape off of it. Make sure there's no baby worm stuck there. But yeah, it looks like we've they've done quite a good job on... getting the cardboard cleaned up and it looks like they've done a good job on all their food. It's getting hard to see the noodles anymore. But that, that is what happens with the uh, lasagna bin. Eventually you can't see the noodles and you've just got goulash. Alright, well let's get them a, a new noodle. I have had this soaking in some water and I think I'm going to go back and I'm going to soak these again. That way they can hold on to the moisture here in the basement. Maybe get this egg carton wet again too. Today for the lasagna bin, it's going to be pumpkin. I tried to kind of slice it a little bit thin so that it stayed in its uh, lasagna profile here, but not 100% perfect, but I'm 100% sure the worms can take care of it. Now, if you are new to this particular bin, um, it just started out as kind of an experiment for breeding to see it. It seemed like every time I had cardboard chunks in a bin that the worms would like to get in the middle in between the corrugate uh, sheets. And so I thought, well, maybe that's a good place for them to breed and I can increase the breeding of the bin. And then it just kind of evolved into uh, this is kind of um, a way to do a bin if you can't shred your cardboard or you don't have a shredder. And uh, so it's, it's kind of turned into that now where we're just layering cardboard and food and allowing the worms to break up the cardboard on their own. So we're not giving them any shredded um, anything. So because they're not getting the normal shredded, I am going to give them some grit. Now, I've already determined that grit's not 100% necessary, but uh, I do have somebody in the house who eats a lot of eggs, so it's got to go somewhere. Hiding in my sweatshirt. That was way dustier than I thought it would be. Okay, I'm going to give them their old cardboard from the egg crates. Okay, give them their old noodle. Okay, then we're going to put on a top noodle. If you like this bin and you think it's pretty interesting and you want to watch more videos related to the lasagna bin, I can put a link up top here and you can watch the last video. 
or you can watch the whole playlist and I will link that in the description below the video. If you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody, have a good day.